if you want to see how i got this hair so silky stay tuned hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today we'll be taking my clan's 4c hair to silky smooth and this is essentially what we started off with so i'm just wetting her hair first before i going with a detox shampoo and the detox shampoo of choice was the curly love detoxing shampoo and that detox shampoo was really to essentially break down all the gunk that her hair had in it so that when we do start with the silk press system it just takes to her hair so i'm just rinsing that off before i actually go in with the silk press system and the system that i'll be using today is the design essentials salon line and you can actually get this on amazon it is ideal for at home silk pressing so i just washed out her hair using the moisturizing strength and shampoo and then i'm gonna go in with the moisturizing and detangling conditioner and look at how shiny her hair is already from just using that shampoo alone the design essential silk press system comes in four steps and that consists of the shampoo the conditioner the blue dry and heat shield protectant and then you have the weightless turmoil protectant serum all of which i'm using in her hair this is the third step that i'm using and i'm just detangling her hair before i go in and blow dry because i don't want the brush to pull on her hair and this is how i usually blow dry hair first so i do a general way i stretch the hair with my hand before i actually go in with the brush because i prefer the hair not to pull and tug too too much to bring discomfort to my clients now you all knew what we started with and this is the end result of the blow dry and i like to blow dry in four sections to make it a lot more manageable on myself and as each section is done i simply give it a twist and i tie it back up until all sections are finished and then i go in and i just give the hair an entire general blow dry just to ensure that everything is tangle free and dry once we were finished blow drying i went in with the protectant serum before we actually begin to flat iron the hair because we want her hair to be able to convert back to its natural state when she is ready to convert out of flat iron, out of that silk press and flat ironing your hair or doing applying any form of heat to the natural hair which is changing the hair texture you want to make sure that your hair is entirely protected along the way and because we are doing a, a 4c hair type i really like to go in in small sections at a time to make sure that we get every hair strand straight because we do not want her hair to convert back to its natural state too easily like as soon as she walks out of the door and look at that this is her hair halfway through and you can still see it has body it has shine but this is it at the end and i'm just giving her a trim because she did not have a trim in a very long time and in order for your silk press to not revert quickly you want to make sure you get those dead ends off and i like to trim my clients hair in very minimal quantities as to not scar them so this was her hair after the trim and now we're just going to curl and style and yes i am using a flat iron to curl her hair and this is my technique i hope i really hope this works for you but this is the method that i use to achieve healthy bouncy curls look at that oh my gosh using this method 
I get the juiciest bouncy schools ever and it goes to show that you don't need all the fancy tools in order to receive salon results you just need to know how to use the tools that you already have and here's a reminder of what we started with and these are her curls after the silk press look at how beautiful I'm just adding some sheen spray tape before I actually comb through those curls because we did want the curls combed out and it just gave us that beautiful bouncy effect. Look at how wonderful that looks. And even though we still press her hair, it still has body and movement and not to mention shine. And she is thoroughly feeling her hair because this was the first time in a long time that she could have passed her hand through her hair without it tangling. And you could clearly see she enjoyed this. So I hope you all enjoy learned some of my tips and tricks through this video. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.